I'm not helping with it if it doesn't put itself together. Because that's when you know that something else is like guiding the music, you know? And that's how you know it's gonna hit differently. It's gonna like strike, like really, really strike someone. Cause that, I was thinking about that the other day of like, however much life and experience you put into it is what people are gonna be able to get out of it. Music is like where I go to expand my consciousness and my, my heart. If you come in and God speed you, you son to me, don't speak to me crooked, I'm stunned, look at me, my I no try and control sweaty one, um, cash my, my environment because I know the fleeting nature of like inspiration and like catching the spirit. If you miss the moment, then that's just a beat. Mm. Like that's why I'm only huffing with it with super fresh. Like everything all at once, this all just happened. Cause, because even if you just get that down, then you can you can go and rework it, clean it up, but you don't wanna be saying something different. There's all these different variables that go into creating a moment as, as opposed to like creating a song. Who do I need to be around? Like what, what space am I in? Like what am I reading? Like what am I doing every day? Like just my eyes open, you know? I feel like any time that I've been less attached to the truth, no matter what adjective comes before the truth, whether it's the sad truth, the unfortunate truth, the fortunate truth, whenever I've not been attached to the truth, then I'm really, really sad, dejected, mm -hmm. and lost. I, I be mad at people because we all got the same resource, which is the world. There's clearly ingredients, you feel me? like. It, from how you live your life to like the music that you listening to. I was always like too nosy my whole life. I was just always in people business like that. Just like absorbing like how you like, you know, like shit you do with your hands. Like I'm like really like on people. And I think on the topic of vulnerability and feet of clay and everything, I think that's the one that hit way more home with both of us because the whole world ended, ended up being more of like a backdrop for whatever each of us are going through individually. You know what I'm saying? It definitely informs it. But our relationship as it's played out has been incredibly vulnerable since I was 15. And it became one that started happening in front of the world. What had me on one, on this one, was just like the honesty and passion that I was like charged with. It's an attractive thing to me, bro. Like mastery, like of self, is a. That's what I'm the most excited about of being in control of my writing. It's like I'm driving a car and you're the passenger as the listener. If I'm a really good driver, if I have total mastery of this car, we can have a bit more fun. <laughs> like you might not know where we're going or like how we're going, but I can like go off of the road. Sampling is like, you're showing who you are. You're showing what your influences are. You're sh almost showing how you grew up. And the realest ones, you're trying to pay homage to this thing. So you're honoring it with those details. Doom, Eminem, that is like that time. Obviously Wayne. Like right now I'm talking about what went into my like The architecture. Initial, yeah. yeah. Find a reason to live. Could be in abyss. Keep fantasies off your lips. See casualties in a way. One thing that I had to overcome that I felt like was very topical for all of us at a certain age was apathy. Once I started looking at things as they are, I got very depressed. I think it happens. I think it's very normal for everyone. But I think um, if the world is a dumpster fire, like you're gonna feel really bad if you're not taking you a bucket of water and throwing it on something whenever you can. That's just for anyone who's figuring out their apathy, their lethargy, their frustration, depression, whatever. 